The Daily Caller recently reported on a shocking government program where the Department of Veterans Affairs is disarming American vets by getting them placed on the FBI's background checklist. Of course, this was not shocking to gun owners of America, as we have long warned about the dangers of using medical information to disarm law-abiding citizens. The Daily Caller said, the VA sends veterans' personal medical and financial information directly to the FBI and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms, which can seize their guns in home raids. Sadly, this problem is only going to get worse as Obamacare implements a VA-type system on all Americans. So now, millions of Americans could find themselves denied their right to buy firearms because of medical diagnoses such as PTSD or depression. But you won't even have to suffer from a medical issue to be denied. According to USA Today, the ability to cut and paste from one record to another can lead to potentially dangerous medical errors in the database. And for gun owners, this could mean wrongful denials when submitting to instant background checks while trying to buy guns. From the time Obamacare was proposed, Gun Owners of America has raised concerns about privacy, namely that medical records will not be secure and that they will end up being misused or erroneously applied to deny gun purchases based on diagnoses that have nothing to do with the person being a threat to self or others. The rollout of Obamacare was not only flawed, but records of hacking surfaced shortly after the system was operational. While these issues may eventually be worked out, we need to get rid of the instant background check which the federal government uses to illegally retain the names and addresses of gun owners making purchases from federally licensed dealers. Doing background checks on millions of law-abiding citizens does not fight crime, but it sure jeopardizes gun owners. And the ability to match medical diagnoses with gun owners will surely cost many a gun owner their firearms without their day in court. This video editorial was written by Larry Pratt, Executive Director of Gun Owners of America, a national gun rights lobby representing more than one million gun owners. Visit the website at www.gunowners.org.